Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Fiery Friday. I'm Rob Lienti, Sales Development Manager for EFI's Fiery Business Unit. And in today's session, we're going to see how we can add bleed to a print file only when it's needed using Fiery Job Flow. You'll see that in three minutes, I can set up this workflow and you can have it operational in your shop that quickly. So here I've got six files we're gonna take a look at. Some have bleed, some don't. So let's take a quick look at each one. So here's a business card that has bleed in it. We can tell by the size, okay? Uh, you can also tell by the trim mark there. Here's another one that has bleed in it, okay? So it's got some extra space built into it for cutting. This one doesn't, this is letter size. Here's a calendar that does not have bleed. Here is a business card that doesn't have bleed and here's a postcard that doesn't have bleed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set up a workflow using Fiery Job Flow to address this where we can drop one file or all these files in one folder and it will figure out whether or not to add bleed. So here I'm going to create the first workflow and it's going to be called add bleed 0.125. That's going to be an eighth inch each side. So I'm going to hit add and we're going to search our modules for bleed options. I'm going to go to my correct module and you're going to see here I've got a generate bleed option available. So after I add that, I'm then going to make sure that I'm outputting this file to a folder where we can take a look at them when we're finished. And these can also go to a fiery. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another workflow, which is going to call add some bleed, please. And what this one's going to do is only going to route the files that need bleed to the bleed workflow, and the other ones will pass through to the folder untouched. So here again, I'm searching for bleed. I'm going to go to pre-flight and I'm going to use a pre-flight to check for bleed if it needs it or not. Then I'm going to manage and add a rule to this. So if this fails, I'm going to move these files to the add bleed workflow. Okay? Just like that. It's that easy. Okay? And then if it does not need bleed, it'll go right past that option and throw it back into the ready for production folder. So again, one folder to check to see if it needs bleed and if it needs to add it, it will. So let's copy all these files into a folder called add some bleed feed that we just created. Paste and we'll open up a production folder and watch all the files come in. Normally a, a production shop, this would take probably five minutes per file to fix. In this example here, I've literally set this up in under three minutes that you can get operational in your shop. If we open these files, let's see what we have. That file has bleed. This file here needed bleed, and now it has bleed. This file here needed bleed, it now has bleed. This file had bleed, so we didn't touch it. This file here needed bleed, now it has bleed. And then finally this calendar needed bleed, and it has bleed. I hope you found this edition of Fiery Friday informative. If you have any questions regarding what you saw today, please feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. Have a good weekend.